And the holidays are finally upon us. Welcome back, guys. It is your boy, Broncos Guru, and it's this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. And for those of you who don't know, we are in the middle of a Broncos Guru Christmas. That's right, we are doing a giveaway on every video this month. So obviously, we'll continue that tradition with this video right here. Somebody's going to win either an elusive drain plug, mafia tumbler, or a piece of merch from our store. All you have to do to qualify is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit the like button below, and leave a comment. We'll pick our favorite comment, and somebody's winning. Just like David Cantrell, we're going to congratulate him as he's also the first qualifier for our Fort Lauderdale international boat show trip giveaway more details about that trip and how to get qualified as an entrant will be coming in january so be sure to stay tuned our first incident to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Napier, New Zealand, where a large fire aboard a ship forced the evacuation of crew as explosions rang out and smoke soared across the city. Locals, too, were forced to evacuate and take cover inside for their own health over safety concerns from the smoke that was coming out of the vessel, possibly containing toxic fumes. Emergency services was contacted, and over 19 fire engines responded to this blaze. The crew of the Kota Bahagia was moved to a safe facility within inside the port while the blaze was tended to. Once the blaze was put out, they actually were moved back to the ship as they were in the middle of a 14-day quarantine period that is required by the New Zealand government upon arrival on a ship like this. Receiving was suspended for the remainder of the day in the Port of Napier. Currently, an investigation has been launched to see what caused the explosions and the flames, but at this time, the cause has not been determined yet, even though the rumor is that it was chemical. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to talk about a different kind of fire, and that's a fire of the heart in an ocean of love. A man in the United Kingdom was arrested earlier this week after he took his jet ski from Scotland to the Isle of Man to visit his girlfriend. Dale McLaughlin, 28, from Scotland, was sentenced to four weeks in jail on Monday for violating the Isle of Man's current entrance restrictions. The Isle has been closed to non-residents since March, with only a few exceptions. Apparently, this Scot only bought the jet ski the prior week and only bought it to make this trip. When he actually reached the Isle of Man, he dumped the ski. He thought the trip was going to take him 40 minutes, but he actually hit terrible weather, and the trip wound up taking him four hours. Even though her boyfriend's spending time in jail, his girlfriend, Jessica Radcliffe, is not in any legal trouble at all. All she has to do is quarantine after spending time with McLaughlin. Our next item to make the boating news this week is going to be another goat with a boat. Just about a week or so ago, we featured Tom Brady showing his brand new yacht. Well, this is Conor McGregor, who's just ordered a new yacht as well. Posting this picture on social media this week, confirming he has ordered a Lamborghini 63 yacht. This vessel is reported to have a price tag a little over $4 million. McGregor's new purchase will be 63 foot long, weigh approximately 24 tons, and boast approximately 4,000 horsepower, and should have the ability to go around 70 miles an hour. The Lamborghini apparently will be making 63 of these yachts, honoring the 1963 start date of Lamborghini, and of course McGregor's ordered the 12th one in honor of his company, Proper 12 Irish Whiskey. Our next item to make the boating news this week is going to take us to the Clearwater, Florida area, where the Doomed In Fire Rescue received a call that a vessel ran aground near Hurricane Pass next to Honeymoon Island State Park. Units responded to the 45-foot vessel that had run aground and was taking on water. Here you can see the fire rescue crews trying to make a daring rescue as waves crash against the boat. There are two adults, two dogs, and a cat on board this vessel, and they're trying to rescue everybody here. Here you can see the rescue swimmers jumped into the water with one of the members of the vessel, who also happens to have a dog in tow with them as they're trying trying to swim back toward the rescue vessel. Here you'll see they struggle a little bit, and now you'll notice that she's let go of the dog on accident, or it's just slipped out of her hand. The rescue vessel is going to attempt to back down and save this dog. They do eventually wind up rescuing this dog and getting the other person off the vessel safely as well. All right. What is that, that dog? Our next item to make the boating news this week is going to talk about what happens when everything goes right. This story is typically one that might not even normally make the boating news, but when things get right and pulled together, I usually want to try and highlight them so people know what to do in certain situations, and these guys are the perfect example of that. Now, sometimes it's hard to understand how I can say things went right when these gentlemen are being rescued by the Coast Guard 50 miles off the coast of Bradenton, Florida, when their 24-foot fishing vessel sank. But where things went right was these guys had all the proper safety equipment. As soon as they noticed their boat was going down, they launched their personal locator beacon, grabbed life jackets and had all their personal safety equipment ready and were rescued by the Coast Guard within an hour. It's just a brief reminder that if you're going offshore, always have all the equipment you need to be rescued. You never know when you're going to need it. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening in your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.